What the hell's going on, people? This is Periodic, and you see the title of the video. We are jumping back into Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle in order to test out the runner-up, the second-place prize, Tech Zangia. So in case you guys don't know what I'm talking about, if you haven't seen my BoJack summons already, uh, I went about 300 stones, which wasn't bad at all, um, but we did not pull the prize. We did not pull first place. We didn't get what we were looking for. BoJack still eludes me. We did get Texangia. Texangia actually showed up very, very quick, as you can see right here. Now, um, she's a very interesting unit. Actually, I don't want her to get hit by all of this. So, yes, we'll just do this here. Uh, th so, let me quickly <laughs> bring up the Bojack, because the new um, Strength Bojack makes the old LR Bojack extremely, extremely strong, but... Even without the strength Bojack, we're looking at the LR Bojack. He's at 158k defense, almost 600k attack, and he's about to give the other two units a 40% attack bonus. Or I'm sorry, not the, well, will the Topo, is the Topo considered super uh, or extreme? I think he's super, right? Um, he's going to give the Zangia 100% a 40% attack bonus because he gives extreme allies a 40% a 40% attack boost. So uh, that right there is just incredible off of his 18 key. Now, let's get back to the tech Zangia because she is an interesting character. I kind of think, I kind of rate her similar to Thouser, uh, aka Salza. Um, who is like a man who's misplaced on his own team. And Zangia is the same thing. She is a woman who is misplaced on her own team, right? You're never really going to run. Uh, yeah, I think this should be fine. You're never really going to run Tech Zangia on a the space traveling warriors team there's just much better there's much better options obviously i'm running her because she's the only lead i have for the category so i have to run her and then it kind of nerfs me a bit because it's only 120 percent uh for the hp attack and defense right i'm kind of you know um limiting my power here but uh besides that there's just too many good options i mean Obviously, I can get her out of there and put Tech Turles on there, or Team Turles, not Tech Turles, Team Turles, the Strength Team Turles. I can also throw the AGL Turles on there as another support. There's just a lot of great characters that I can put uh, in in the in the place of uh, this Tech Zangia. Now, the reason why I talk about her in not great terms is because what she does, right? So, uh, Supreme Damage. Attacks, uh, lowers attack and defense. Okay, not bad, right? Passive skill, extremely long. It is the hallmark of 2020, 2021 passive skills that they're all a book. So this is Galactic Warriors Loyalty. Uh, attack and defense 30% per space traveling warriors category ally on the team. So there's going to be six more. So you're going to be 120% attack and defense is effectively her passive. If you're using her on a space traveling warriors team, which we are, everybody on here is space traveling warriors. Launches an additional attack that is a medium chance of becoming a super attack when there's an ally who's named Bojack attacking the same turn. So she is going to launch an additional super or additional attack, additional attack guaranteed if Bojack's in the same rotation. That has a 25% chance of becoming a super attack. And then last but not least, uh, attacked enemies, uh, attack and defense minus 20%, and she recovers 10% HP at the, at the start of turn. So I like the HP recovery. That's always good. Um, I like the lowering attack and defense because she's honestly lowering it 20% right there. And she's lowering it by 30% on the normal uh, super attack, right? So that's really a 50% decrease, which is good. Um, but, but Bojack has better linking partners. Much better. Because if we take a look here, right? You got Heraclan. Galactic Warriors, fantastic, right? Heraclan, Galactic Warriors. Let's go over the links real fast. Heraclan is two key, attack and crit 5%. All right, boom. Galactic Warriors, two key, attack and defense 20%. Those are fantastic links. 
But then, if we go over here, no big bad bosses, right? No shattering the limit. You're just looking at Shocking Speed, Revival, and Fierce Battle. Those are the four that you're going to link with a lot of these other characters. And if this character was a support, then I would 100% agree. Throw her on the team. But because you have to run only Space Traveling Warriors, and you have to, have to, have to, um, you know, have Bojack next to her, well, her and Bojack only share four links. Now, again, those links are very good, but it's one of those things where uh, the passive, like what it looks like, seems stronger on paper than in practice. Because when you actually bring her out, uh, she's barely getting over a million attacks that. And sometimes she doesn't, right? And then not to mention, she also doesn't even touch 100k defense. Now, of course, we have her at 55%. So having a rainbowed unit might look a little bit different. Uh, but I don't think it'll be that great of a difference to exclude a Team Turles. It really does seem like um, the Thouser effect, like I said before, where he was a great card. You look at the passive and you look at all this stuff and you're just like, wow, that is... A strong, strong character, right? Uh, by the way, we're not going to transform because we literally just got the rotation that we wanted. So uh, if we take a look at this right here, look at that. Woo. Woo. So five links because we also have Thirst for Conquest, which is big. Um, oh, no Fierce Battle, huh? Uh, LR Bojack doesn't have Fierce Battle. Wow, that's crazy. Okay, this dude does though. So yeah, five links there. So what are we getting with uh, Zangya? We're getting Heraclan, Fierce Battle, Revival, and Galactic Warriors, because I'm pretty sure she does not have Thirst for Conquest. I don't think so, right? Yeah, no. Uh, so four links at most with her. And then let's just go ahead and bash this dude up. I'm not a huge fan of characters that they bring that are obviously supposed to get stronger as um, on their own team, but the level of strength that they have is less than just random units. You know what I mean? Like you're, you're limiting teams that this character could be on heavy, heavily limiting the teams that this character could be on. You're only letting them be on certain teams. And then they're not as good as other characters that could be run on the same team. Like that's actually pretty frustrating. Uh, yeah. 5.1 million attacks that ladies and gentlemen 5.1 million you ain't you ain't reading that wrong and now the strength bojack just got a 40 percent attack boost at i believe this one is at 79 percent or something like that gonna do a nice little crit gonna do a nice little additional attack gonna do nice little things here hit him with the cosmic joint boom nice double crit too very very good so that's my main problem with uh, this tech, Zangia. Uh, now, in terms of who she links well with, I honestly think, uh, can we get, yeah, okay, we can. Uh, Beerus is going to have a field day here. He's going to have an absolute field day. Uh, oof, and we're getting the Dokkan mode, huh? Oof, he might, I don't think he'll one shot. Uh, he's going to do very, very well though. But yeah, so Zangia at most shares four links with the uh, new strength Bojack and um, physical or Arale. Physical Arale. Just, just soak that in for a second. Soak that in. If you're a Zangia and you do not get, if you do not summon and pull the new strength Bojack, you will have to put physical Arale on your team. <laughs> It's just to get four links, dude. Like, <laughs> um, why? Why does that make sense? Why does she link so well with Arale? That's. It's not just the physical one. Like she links well with the strength Arale, the AGL Arale, the intelligence Arale. What is going on? <sighs> It's it just doesn't really make a lot of sense in my opinion. It's just like they came out with some of these units 
And they just really didn't think. They didn't think the links through. Uh, it's confusing to me. Over 200K defense. It's funny because I gravitate to more towards the intelligence Bojack because the strength Bojack is buffing this guy up so much. He's doing such a good job in making this guy even stronger. And you really want to focus on that 18 key just so the rest of the rotation now. So he's throwing a 4 million attack stat, uh, but now the rest of the rotation um, has... The, dude, really? Has a 40% attack boost. So this man... Dude, three dodges in a row, and he doesn't dodge the normal attack. Of course. What is four dodges? That is crazy. Goku, hopefully you use them all up, my boy. That's my problem with a lot of these uh, support units. A lot of these, not even support units, a lot of these secondary units that they include on the banners. Hence why characters like the physical Dabura, the physical Tien, um, the strength Gohan are considered to be so darn good because of the support that they do. You can run them on so many different teams. They're not handcuffed onto the same exact team right you don't have to only run them on that squad uh, which is always frustrating to see so i'm a big fan of that um of course you're gonna dodge every single one of my super attacks my boy oh he actually got a super off look at that super saiyan goku you slipping dude you are absolutely slipping and tripping and now we're slapping and tapping. That's what we're doing. No capping. All right. I'm going to stop now. Uh, so Zangia, 1.2 million. Again, next to her best linking partner. Uh, just not really that impressive. Uh, again, defense probably under 100K. So even if you get her up at the 100% range, we'll what, be probably touching 2 million. Maybe. Maybe we'll be touching 2 million. So to me, not that impressive. Oof, this is not going to be go well at all. This is not going to go well whatsoever. But you know what, Texangia? Time to test your metal. Time to test your metal. Let's see what you're able to do. We're going to give you a super attack. We are not going to give you any support. Let's see how you're able to stack up against strength. Super Saiyan 1 Gohan. I'm guessing Super Saiyan 2 Gohan is probably the, uh, the end here. But I'm pretty confident that... Zangia is going to get me killed. So I appreciate everybody who watched the video and my thoughts on this particular unit. Uh, if you haven't joined the club, what are you doing with your life? There's a blue join button down below. Join the ranks of Chris Gonzalez and Wolverine Gaming. Become a Boomer Elite. Become a Boomer Champion. But if you want to do it the free-to-play way, that's fine too. Go ahead and gently rub that sub button. Gingerly ring that bell button. Lovingly kiss the like button. As always... Texania didn't get me killed. See y'all in the next video.